we're going to be looking at how to solve a system of equations using elimination. Write a system of equations to describe the situation below and solve using elimination. Over the last two months, Gavin has been keeping track of how many cuts and colors he has done at the salon. The first month, he did four cuts and five colors and made $40. The following month, he made $33 by doing five cuts and two colors. How much does a cut and color cost at Gavin's salon? Okay, well the first thing we need to choose is variables. Um, we could use C for one of them, but since they both start with a C, let's just use X and Y. So, Notice they told us how many haircuts and how many colors he did. They didn't tell us the cost. So X is going to represent the dollars per, let's say this one is cuts. And Y is going to represent the dollars or the price per hair color. Okay, and then we can set it up because we know the cost will be multiplied by the number of items sold to give us the total amount. So if in the first month he did four cuts in five colors to make $40, we can say, okay, four cuts times X dollars per cut plus five colors times Y dollars per color gave him a total of $40. The following month, he made $33 by doing five cuts in two colors. Okay, so five cuts at X dollars each, two colors at Y dollars each. And that gave him a total of $33. From here, we want to solve our system when we solve using elimination, the idea is we need to either cancel out the x variable so we can solve for y, or cancel out the y variable so we can solve for x. In order to cancel, we need opposites. So opposites would have one positive, one negative version of the same integer. So for example, 2x and negative 2x would cancel out, or 3y and negative 3y would cancel. And it doesn't matter which one I cancel because I'm going to need to eventually solve for both. So I like to pick by taking the smaller numbers because that's going to be a little easier to work with. So I think 5 and 2 is going to be a little smaller and easier than 5 and 4. So let's try to cancel our y. So I need to think of the smallest number that 5 and 2 both go into. And the smallest number they both go into is 10. So I'm going to turn one of them into a 10y and one into a negative 10y. Okay, and it doesn't matter which one is positive or negative, let's make the top one positive. Well, right now it's a 5y, so if I wanna make it a 10y, I would have to multiply by two, right? Two times 5y would give us 10y. Okay, so if I made the top one a positive 10y, then the bottom equation I wanna turn into a negative 10y. So it's already a 2y, I would have to multiply by negative 5, right, because negative 5 times 2y would give me negative 10y. And now I'm going to distribute that number in front to all three terms in each equation. So for this top one, 2 times 4x is going to give me 8x. 2 times 5y is going to give me 10y. And 2 times 40 gives me 80. On the bottom, I'm going to distribute the negative 5 to all three terms. Negative 5 times 5x is going to give me negative 25x. Negative 5 times 2y is going to give me negative 10y. And then I'm going to multiply negative 5 times 33, and that gives me negative 165. Okay, and notice I know that I'm on the right track because if I look at my columns, I can see 10y and negative 10y are going to cancel. 
And then from here, we're essentially adding each column. We're going to add the X column, add the Y column, and add the number column. So starting with my X column, 8X minus 25X gives me negative 17X. You can also think of that as combining columns, right? Adding a negative is the same as subtracting. So we're adding or combining if that's easier, basically adding or subtracting each column. Okay, and then when I go to add 10y and negative 10y, they're going to cancel out because they add up to zero. And then in my number column, 80 minus 165 gives me negative 85. And notice, the reason I wanted those y's to cancel is now I have an equation with just x. Now this is something I can solve. So x is being multiplied by negative 17 since they're written next to each other. So my inverse or opposite is to divide by negative 17. And whatever I do on one side, I have to do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm going to divide by negative 17 over there. A negative divided by a negative gives me a positive, and 85 divided by 17 gives me 5. So I know x is 5. Remember, x represented the dollars per cut, so I know it's $5 per haircut. So already, there's only one answer choice that would make sense. $5 per haircut, $4 per color. Now in this case, if I wanted to be really kind of slick about it and look at those answer choices, I could pick that one and move on. If you did want to confirm it, what you could do to figure out why or make sure that it is $4 per color, what you would do is take that answer we just found, which is x equals 5 or $5 per cut, and substitute it in to either original equation. So essentially I would take 5 and put it in place of x in one of my original equations. So I'm just going to take the smallest number equation, which was the bottom one. The bottom one was 5x plus 2y equals 33. Notice when I say original equation, it's before you multiplied it, just to keep the number smaller. So when I sub the 5 in place of x, that's going to say 5 times 5 plus 2y is equal to 33. Okay, 5 times 5 is 25, so 25 plus 2y equals 33. And then I'm trying to get y by itself. So since they're adding 25, my opposite would be to subtract 25 on both sides. And that's going to give me 8. Okay, since y is being multiplied by 2, my next opposite is to divide by 2 on both sides. And y gives me 4. So that's where they got $4 per color. If we go back to our variable, y was the dollars per color.